The SETI Institute is conducting a fascinating but financially and technologically limited effort to identify signs of extraterrestrial intelligence elsewhere in the cosmos. SETI stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, and in a nutshell, the purpose of the project is to scan the skies to find evidence like artificial repeating radio signals, or signs of artificial superstructures like a Dyson Swarm, or some other evidence that might suggest the presence of an intelligent alien civilization. The SETI project has had no significant public funding in the U.S., or really anywhere else in the world. NASA once planned to fund the SETI project at a rate of $10 million a year, but legislation introduced in 1993 cut all that money out, because the bill's author, Senator Richard Bryan, thought that it was a waste of taxpayer money. Since then, the SETI project has mostly been funded by private interests, like alien curious philanthropists and various non-government science organizations. For decades, this funding, while highly appreciated, has not gone very far. The sky is big, there's a lot of star systems out there, and it's relatively expensive to buy time at the world's best telescopes. The probability of finding alien life is relatively low, considering the raw number of star systems that we'd have to analyze. And even if we did find it, the immediate payoffs are largely philosophical and cultural. They're not technological or economical. So it's not entirely unsurprising that there hasn't been that much of a push for funding at the highest levels. Honestly, because people outside the scientific community often struggle to see the point. I mean, the search for life elsewhere in the universe has been going on for over a century. And for most of this time, there wasn't even any hard data showing the plausibility of alien life in the first place. In the middle of the 20th century, we began to understand how many stars were in the galaxy and how many galaxies were in the universe. And these raw numbers, as presented in the Drake equation, suggested an immensely high probability that life exists elsewhere in the universe. However, this is an argument for probability. It wasn't the hard evidence that we needed to make a really compelling argument for the search for alien life. That came in the most recent decades, when we started to find exoplanets orbiting alien stars. Increasingly advanced telescopes have identified close to 4,000 exoplanets to date, and many dozens of them are roughly Earth-sized, and they orbit in their star's habitable zone, making them extremely attractive candidates for closer inspection. It is this exoplanet revolution that has astronomers arguing that now is the time to start taking the SETI project seriously, with consistent public funding and greater access to technical resources. Dr. Anthony Beasley is the director of the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in Charlottesville, Virginia, and he was uh, recently a featured speaker at the Seattle meeting of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. At this meeting, he said that now is the time, quote, for SETI to come in from the cold and be properly integrated to all other areas of astronomy, unquote. Professor of Cosmology and Astrophysics at Cambridge, Lord Martin Rees, has also argued for more funding for SETI. He points out that the Large Hadron Collider has cost many billions of dollars, but still hasn't fulfilled its purpose of finding subatomic particles outside the current physics model. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence has the potential to be more fruitful than this lofty goal of the Large Hadron Collider. Professor Rees said, quote, I'd feel far more confident arguing the case for SETI than for a particle accelerator." Unquote. Dr. Andrew Simeon is another advocate for improved funding. Dr. Simeon is the leader of the Breakthrough Listen Project at the University of California, Berkeley. The Breakthrough Listen Project is one of the bigger SETI efforts in recent years. It started in 2016 with a massive $100 million budget provided by Israeli-Russian billionaire and tech investor Yuri Milner. The Breakthrough Listen Project represents the most well-funded and comprehensive search for alien life to date, using several powerful telescopes and observatories around the world, including the Very Large Array in New Mexico. In a happy turn of events, around the same time that Dr. Beasley pushed for more SETI funding at the AAAS meeting, 
A private funder of the very large array said that the observatory would be joining the global SETI project. Dr. Simeon said that the addition of the very large array to SETI efforts would increase the chances of finding intelligent life by, quote, 10 or even 100-fold, unquote. Dr. Simeon was interviewed by the BBC, and he said, quote, We are now set for the most comprehensive all-sky survey that has ever been accomplished, unquote. He also said that the very large array would bring public credibility to the SETI project, saying, quote, we would like to see SETI transformed from a small cabal of scientists and engineers in California, isolated from academia, to one that is as much an integral part of astronomy and astrophysics as any other field of inquiry." Unquote. I think this is particularly cool, because they're basically talking about bringing the search for alien life and astrobiology into mainstream status, and treating it as another equally noble discipline in the study of the universe beyond Earth. I think that's really cool. Dr. Simeon also discussed the philosophical importance of prioritizing the search for extraterrestrial life. He said, quote, Ever since human beings have looked up at the night sky and wondered, is there anyone out there? We now have the capacity to answer that question, and perhaps to make a discovery that would rank among the most profound scientific discoveries in the history of humanity. Unquote.